10 seconds left in this first round. Oh, he's rolling for it. Wow. He has it. He has it. He has it. Oh, oh my it. goodness. He's got it. He's got it. Lewis Clifford with the overblood to finish. Wow. I was one step away from the big final, and that is where we all have our eyes. Et là, on a vraiment le, la crème de la crème des combattants européens. Ce qui fait que, d'un point de vue international, donc, il y a une résonance qui est exceptionnelle. C'est vraiment un tournoi qui a une grosse portée d'un point de vue euh, communication à l'international. My name get more attention right now than when I was in the UFC. That's crazy. It's massive for European MMA. It's obviously the biggest prize pot that we've seen for a European MMA event. The ultimate goal for me is, of course, to win the money. But most important is to put my name in the history books. I want to prove that I'm the best of the 16 guys. To be the first Tip Sport Game Changer champion, that's obviously going to be something that's driving on all four fighters, and it's a massive moment for them. The highest ranked fighter in this whole tournament. I was one of the most highly ranked European fighters. I have a high submission rate. Louis Glissman is for me one of the best grapplers European. It tends to be if he takes the fight to the floor, then it's pretty much game over. You just got to watch from any position. He can find a way to submit you. Day before the fight, I got a new opponent. That was a bit crazy situation for me. Here he comes. Andre Kalashnik is a five-time national champion in Greco-Roman wrestling. He's just waiting for his moment. This is a big moment, Luke. Big moment in this fight. Look at how fluid his jiu-jitsu is. Griezmann is a master here. Kalashnik is deep, deep underwater right now. Well, big oh, shot coming shots. down. Big right hands landing. Heavy right hands from Griezmann. This is a real testament to his skill set. I didn't get the submission. I always wanted to, to finish the fights. So for me, it was not like a 10 out of 10 performance. So straight after the fight, we had to do drawing for the next round. And I could choose Melvin Fensuna. I fought against him five years prior to that fight, where I submitted him on a knee bar from back mount. So I had advantage in the mental game leading up to that fight. Let's do a rematch, man. Yeah? <laughs> I actually made like a proposed to Melvin saying, let's keep it standing. But then he actually went for the takedown against me and I was like, okay, so you're going for the takedowns now. Okay, so I took him down and completely destroyed him on the ground. The inverted over plot, I have been doing it a lot of times in training leading up to the fight. There was like one minute left, so I was like, ah, I'm gonna wait a bit. And I heard there was 10 seconds left, and then I went for it. Oh, now he's rolling for it. Wow. He has it, he has it. Oh, he has it. my goodness. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Lewis Clifford with the overblown to finish. To do it in front of 20,000 people, one of the best moments of my sports career. It kind of went viral because it is such a rare thing to pull off. D'ailleurs, cette homoplata fait vraiment le tour du monde. Also ich glaube, in 1000 MMA Kämpfen, die man sich anschaut, kriegt man die vielleicht ein, zwei oder dreimal zu sehen. It got posted on many MMA websites and that was like a dream come true. This is a fucking gladiator moment. Wow, man, it's unbelievable. I am really happy about the finish. In Denmark, the recognition of MMA is starting to rise a lot. Journalists have been interested in this Octagon event. I spoke to a lot of just random people who's giving me applause and saying they want to go down to Prague. So I really feel like I'm uh, fighting for my country. But Mick Ladies fought some of the best guys out there. Alex Pereira, obviously, former UFC middleweight champion. Kommt aus dem Halbschwergewicht runter in diese Gewichtsklasse. Das bedeutet, er hat von Natur aus einfach auch ein bisschen mehr Kraft und ist der robustere Fighter. Donc c'est vraiment un des meilleurs combattants européens. Before Octagon, I was fighting the UFC. The things didn't work for me very good. I have like two straight losses, two very good opponents though, but it was two losses. And then the opportunity with Octagon came in and I took it with this Game Changer tournament. When I was fighting Apollo, I was stressed. I'm all around fighter, you know. I know many expected for me to go grapple from the beginning. I knew 
Apollo will expect that. I will have a better reach advantage. So this is why I stick to striking. And I took him down two, three times. After I won the fight, I had a relief. It's great to represent Greece. I always want to do it. Everybody's asking me about it in Octagon in Greece. Uh, everybody loves it. My name gets more attention right now than when, when I was in the UFC. That's crazy. I want to be like a role model to the new kids who start MMA. If I won the tournament, it's gonna draw more attention in Greece. Let's welcome from Greece, Andreas Mikalalis. I didn't want someone to choose me. I want me to choose someone. And I show him like, I'm not scared at all. I see Grabinski and I didn't care, I go in. Now everybody see him winning Curtis and they go crazy about it, but I don't know, like, I want Apollo and Apollo is better than Curtis. Grabinski versus Mikalidis is a really good matchup, but I do think that Grabinski is gonna win. I felt he was very strong, very strong guy. I didn't expect him to be that strong. I want to strike him with him also, but he was like, he has nothing to lose, you know? Then I don't want to play that game because I have another solution. I'm sure I will uh, take him down and finish him there. Now he's looking for that side choke on the other side. Oh, can he do it? Mikalinas gets it! Wow! He has it. I'm gonna face Mikalinas! That's gonna be great, man. Le combat entre Andreas Mikhailidis et Louis Glissman sera peut-être l'un des plus grands combats européens dans la catégorie welterweight qui aura lieu cette année. I think he wanted Grabinski to win because I have better wrestling and better grappling than Grabinski. So now it's more difficult for him. I expect Mikhailidis to try and knock me out. I'm gonna try to do the same to him. He has a lot of muscles and those muscles it's gonna be tired. My cardio is gonna be for days. The more tired you get, I get more hungry. I'm gonna get more thirsty of breaking men down. I think I'm one of the best waterways right now in the world. But I don't think he has a better ground than me. I already know his, his game plan. I already know he's doing it all the time. If he takes me down, I have to grapple with him and do it. I don't care. Now he's looking for that side truck. Mikalinas gets it! Wow! I'll take that as an invitation. You gotta watch out, Miguel. Be prepared to tap early or you will get injured. Oh my goodness! He's got it! 